In our last video, we were looking at concave mirrors, which were converging. They're converging because if we looked at this here and we had a light shining on this side, we're hitting a mirror that bends all the light and reflects all the light towards the center, right? In this one, we're going to be looking at convex. That's looking at the other side of the mirror. So let's say we're looking at this side of the mirror now. This is going to be a convex, and these are going to be diverging mirrors. Now, to make a ray diagram for this is very similar. We follow the same steps as making a ray diagram for the concave mirrors. So how, here's what we do. First, we've got to draw ray 1, which is parallel to the principal axis. And then once we hit the mirror, we are going to aim at the focal point. Well, here we go. You draw the same thing parallel to the uh, principal axis, and then we aim at the focal point. But remember, the focal point on this case is on the virtual side. So we're going to have a dotted line on the virtual side, and my real side is going to be the solid line. Now, if we look at this, once it's hitting, what happens? We are diverging. Let's take a look at my next one. So then ray 2 is we're going to draw to the focal point, but then as soon as we hit the mirror, we're going to go parallel to my principal axis. So let's go back here. We draw it, a line to aiming at the focal point. Oh, but it hits the mirror, so we have to go parallel to my principal axis. Now, this side here, we're going to have the dotted line, and this side here we have, because it's virtual, and this side here we're going to have our regular line because it's real. But now if we look again, Look at my rays. They are moving apart. That's why it's very key to have these virtual lines. Now my third one is we, same as before, is we draw from our object to the center of the curvature. So let's take a look at this here. We're going to draw to the center of the curvature. And then as soon as we hit the mirror, we just continue going, but it's going to be dotted. Now where these three lines intersect that is going to be where my image is. And in this case here, when we have diverging mirrors or a convex mirror, we end up a lot of times with an image that is going to be virtual, erect, and smaller. So next we're going to look at the mathematics behind this. The mathematics of mirrors become very important when we're dealing with telescopes and calculations with that. But before we even get into that or any mathematics of it, we first must know what are my variables and what they stand for. So let's first look here. There are some of these we know. We know what C stands for. That's my center. And we know F is my focal point. Well, now the C is also my radius of my curvature, which is twice the focal point. My focal point is half of the center of the radius. So F stands for my focal length. C stands for my radius of the curvature or the center. We also are now going to be looking at my object. So notice how we have this subscript O here. That's going to normally donate object. So H stands for object height. Then we're going to look at my D, my ob oops, my DO. So D is the distance and the small case O, the subscript O is going to be my distance of the object. So DO stands for distance of the object. My next one here is going to be of my image. Well, height of image is H subscript I. And then we have my last one here, which is my distance of my image. So DI, so D subscript I is for my distance of my image. So these are very key things that we must know. My next part that I need to know is I have to learn when we use positive and negative signs. This is where some students make their mistakes. So, these here are my formulas. Okay, We have the reciprocal of my distance from the object plus the reciprocal of the distance of my image is equal to the reciprocal of my focal point, the distance of the focal point. My magnification is, well, you guys have done magnification scale factors before, my image divided by my object or it could be the negative of my distance of the image divided by the distance of the object. All right, so when are they positive, when are they negative? Anything on the real side, so on the same side of my object, is going to be positive. All right, now here's a key thing. People always think the focal is positive, but no, 
In diverging mirrors, as we saw way back here, my focal point is negative in a diverging mirror because it's on the opposite side of my object. That's a key thing to look at. So, real objects and images have positive distances. That means virtual objects and images have negative distances. And they're always measured from the vertex. Erect images have positive height. Inverted images will have negative height. The next part here is converging mirrors have real principal focal point and uh, focal length is positive. Now diverging mirrors have a virtual principal focal point and the focal length is negative. Because on converging mirrors, that's concave, my object is on the same side as the focal point. In diverging mirrors, my object is on the opposite side of the focal point. Now, here's our first example. An object is located 20 centimeters from a converging mirror that has a focal length of 15 centimeters. So A asks, where will the image form relative to the mirror vertex? And then B asks, if the object is 5 centimeters high, determine the, L, the attitude, the attitude height, and the magnification of the image. So, what is given here? Well, we know my distance of the object is 20 centimeters and it's positive. We know my focal distance is 15 centimeters and positive because this is a converging mirror, right? It's concave, so that means it must be positive, my focal. We know my height of the object is 5 centimeters. And we're just going to assume in this case it's erect because the most time when we think of the objects, they're going to be erect. My image is the one that sometimes can be erect or inverted. So looking at A, we want to know what is di, because we want to know the distance of the image relative to the mirror. So in that case here, I'm going to use this formula up here. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to low 1 over my focal distance is equal to 1 over my distance of my object plus 1 over my distance of my image. Now, in this case, remember, the focal point is positive because it's on the, same, it's on the real side. So we're going to go uh, 1 over my distance of my image is equal to 1 over my focal point minus 1 over my distance of my object. Now, we look at this here. I'm going to end up getting 1 over 15. And we're going to say minus 1 over 20. That's the same thing as saying 4 over 60. Uh, minus 3 over 60, which ends up giving me a total of 1 over 60 centimeters. So my distance of my image is 1 over 60 centimeters, which means my distance is equal to 60. My distance of my image is equal to 60.0 centimeters. All right, now let's look at B. So B is trying to figure out what is my height of my object, okay? And it wants to know my magnification. So we know we're going to use, have to use this equation up here. So we know my magnification is equal to my height of my image divided by my height of my object. Okay. We also know, based on this here, we know that this is also equal to the negative of my distance of the image divided by the distance of the object. Well, I could, do, I could rearrange this here, this part here, to figure out what is my height of my image. So my height of my image is equal to my, the negative distance of my image multiplied by the height of my object divided by the distance of my object. That's going to end up giving me 60 centimeters, negative 60 centimeters, multiplied by 5 centimeters, divided by 20. This ends up giving me a total of negative 15 centimeters. And that's my height of my image. So now I know the height of my image, 
and we, uh, so now I know the height of my image and we also know the height of my object, we could just divide these to figure out what is my uh, scale factor and my scale factor in this case is going to be equal to negative 3 or my magnification is negative 3. My second question asks, a diverging mirror of a focal length of 10 centimeters produces an image of an object located 20 centimeters from the mirror. Determine the image distance and the magnification. Now we also want to know, is the image real or virtual? So let's look at this. This is diverging. So if my object's here, my focal distance is going to be on the virtual side. So if we look at my given here, my focal is actually negative 10 centimeters. All right, my distance of my object is equal to 20 centimeters. And what we're trying to figure out, we're trying to figure out what is the distance of my image. And we want to figure out my magnification. So let's continue this here. So let's first look and try and figure out what is the distance of my image. So my distance of my image we're going to be looking at, we know that 1 over my focal distance is equal to 1 over the distance of the object plus 1 over the distance of my image. So we're going to rearrange that. We have 1 over the distance of my image is equal to 1 over my focal minus 1 over my distance of my object. Continue putting this in. This is going to be negative 1 over 10. And we're going to minus 1 over 20. Which gives me a total of 3 over 20. Negative. Now that's 1 over my uh, 1 over my distance, so we take the reciprocal of that, and I'm going to end up getting negative 6.67 centimeters as the distance from the vertex is my image. Now, next part here is we want to find the magnification. So my magnification, okay? Well, we know that is equal to my distance of my image divided by my distance of my object, which is also equal to, in this case, negative 6.67. Uh, oh, and this is a negative, the distance of my image, and negative object, 6.67 centimeters, divided by 20 centimeters, which gives me the same thing as 0. 3, 3 is going to be my magnification. Okay. Now, is this image real or virtual? I look at my magnification. This tell, or sorry, I look at my distance. My distance shows me that it's going to be on the negative side, so that means this must be a virtual. Because my distance of my image is negative. So in example three, we have a five centimeter object placed two centimeters in front of a converging mirror and is magnified by negative four times. So where does this image form and what is the focal length of the mirror? So we know the magnification is negative four, so that tells me right away that it's going to be inverted my image. We also know from this here, we know my uh, height of object is equal to five centimeters. Okay, we know my, the distance of my object is equal to 2 centimeters. We're trying to find the distance of my image, and we're trying to find my focal length. Okay. And we also know my magnification, forgot about that, my magnification is equal to negative 4. Alright, so let's first start off here with my magnification. Uh, we could use my magnification to figure out uh, where the distance of the image is. So my magnification is equal to negative distance of image divided by my distance of my object. In other words, my distance of my image is equal to my magnification multiplied by my distance of the object. We put these together, I'm going to get negative, negative 4, that's my magnification, multiplied by 2 centimeters which ends up giving me a total of 8 centimeters. 
So if we look at this, we know this is positive, so this is also a real image. So the image is going to be 8 centimeters away, and it's going to be real. Now, now we want to figure out what is my focal length. And if we look at this, this is converging, so the focal length should be technically real on the same uh, side. So it should be real and it should be positive. So we know here we're going to have 1 over my focal length is equal to 1 over the distance of object plus 1 over the distance of my image, which is going to give me 1 over 2 centimeters plus 1 over 8 centimeters, which is the same thing as 4 over 8 centimeters plus 1 over 8 centimeters, which is going to end up giving me 5 over 8 centimeters. And that's 1 over my focal point. And if we flip that, I get 8 over 5, or the same thing as 1.6 centimeters.